So you have a Skeptra Android TV, smart TV. This is the Android TV version, and you have an issue with one of your apps. It doesn't matter which app it is. I'm gonna give you like several solutions for common fixes for most issues. So it could be any app, it could be uh, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, but basically you have issues where it's not working or not working properly. Maybe you get a black screen, flickering black screen, or error message, or maybe just a, a no picture, or you have sound audio problems. Maybe it's out of sync, it goes in and out, or the sound sounds muffled, or may, maybe it's stuck in uh, buffering, or you have Wi-Fi issues or connection problems, or there's no sound, or the screen uh, when you're watching a movie or video keeps uh, freezing, or it's frozen, or the audio is too low. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a bunch of solutions, and by the end of this video, like 90% of you guys should be up and running, okay? So step number one, make sure your TV is on. While the TV is on, what I want you to do is pull the power plug, okay? Go ahead and just pull it just like that. Wait 30 seconds, then plug it back in, turn your TV on, open your app, and see if it's running properly. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so for the next step, what I want you to do, again, is have your TV on, and we're gonna go ahead and pull the plug again. And this time, leave it off. Now what I want you to do is go wherever your modem and router is. Okay, what I want you to do is basically unplug them for like 30 seconds. Now I have a modem and a router, so I'm gonna plug both of these. Some of you guys may have one modem that's a, um, that's a router as well. Anyway, I have two. I have a modem and router here, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull the plug. Don't worry, you're not gonna lose any data or anything like that. So I'm gonna pull the modem out, the plug, and also the power to the, uh, the router here. Wait 30 seconds, after 30 seconds is up, go ahead and plug them back in. Okay, so both of them are plugged in. Now, go back to your TV and we're gonna go ahead and plug it in now and let's turn the TV on. Now once your TV is on, wait like one or two minutes before you try the app again because you have to wait for everything to um, connect back to your internet, okay? So if that last step didn't work, the next thing we're going to do is try to do a, see if you have, if there's a possible uh, system software update for you, okay? So first thing is uh, just go ahead and click on the, uh, go back to your home screen, you can click on the home button. Click on the home button. Next thing is we want to go to the uh, settings, which is that little gear icon. So what you want to do is just go all the way up. You can see it's highlighted there, go right, 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 right there, settings. Click on OK on the remote. And then from here, you want to go down to device preferences right there. Now we want to go ahead and go to about and then system updates. The first one up there, go ahead and click on OK and see if you have a possible update available. If you do, go ahead and download and install it. After it's installed, then go ahead and try to um, open the app up and see if it's working correctly. OK. In my case, my system is already up to date, so if yours is already up to date, then you're just going to go to the next step, all right? So the next step that we're going to try is we're going to force stop the app and also clear the, ca the uh, cache. So go ahead and go back to your home screen, and then we will have to go, go to your home screen. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to go to apps, okay? So just go ahead and move around and then go all the way over to the left. Now it's on apps. Click on OK. Now you want to find the app that you're having issues with. Or for example, if mine was Netflix, just go ahead and go to Netflix and then press and hold the OK button. Press and hold, and this window here will pop up. Now what you want to do is go down to Info, click on OK, and then we're going to go right down here. It says Four Stop. Let's go ahead and click on Four Stop right there, and then go ahead and click on OK. Now I want you to... Go down where it says clear cache, right there. Click on OK, and then click on OK again to clear the cache. There you go. Now go back and open your app and see if you're up and running. Everything works perfectly fine. Now the thing is, if you still have issues, I want you to come back here again. And this time what I'm going to do is clear the data, okay, which is right here. So once you go ahead and uh, click on that, and you click on OK, Take note that once you uh, clear the data, you click OK, then once you go ahead and bring up your app again, you will have to um, sign in and also put in your password, okay? So give this a try, then sign in to your um, app if it requires uh, signing in and then see if it works. If it's still down, then we're going to go to the next step. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to reset your picture settings. 
So again, just go directly to the, um, your settings. So go to the gear icon right there. Click on OK. We're going to go down to device preferences right there. And then from here, we're going to go down to picture right here, especially if you have like a black screen or it's flipping black screen or if you have lines or whatnot. Anyway, from here, you, you, you want to scroll all the way down to the very bottom right here and click reset the default. OK, just go ahead and click on OK and yes to confirm. And voila, you just reset your uh, picture settings. Now go back to the app, open it up, see if it's working. Okay, if you're still down, then we're going to go to the next step. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reset the sound now. So on this device preferences here in the settings, just go down to sound, click on OK, and then from here, go all the way down to the very bottom. It says reset the default, okay, the sound. If you have any kind of audio issues going in and out, it's not synced, it's... Um, the audio sounding muffled or the audio is not loud. Anyway, just go to restore, uh, reset the default down here. Click on OK. Click on Yes. And voila, you just reset your sound. Open your app up. See if you are working. OK, if not, we're going to go to the next step. Now, the last step I have for you is to do a factory reset. But before you try the factory reset, what I want you to do is try every single step again in this video. Sometimes it takes like two times, okay? So try every single step again. If you come back to the very end, you're still down. The last thing we have for you is to do a factory reset. Once you do a factory reset, it'll be as if you bought the uh, TV brand new and took it out of the box, and then you have to start off with your setup, your language, and all that good stuff. Anyway, from the settings here, device preferences, here again, you just want to go all the way down to the very bottom where it says reset. Click on OK, and then you want to go down. The reset here remember this is going to erase everything on the tv okay go ahead and click on uh reset this whole process will take maybe about two minutes okay anyway if you guys followed all the steps most of you guys are up and running let me know uh which step or sometimes it's a combination of steps that you think work for you so give me a thumbs up if it worked if it didn't give me a thumbs down okay good luck guys